going to the supermarket. So now all the easy things what I talked about in the easy video you probably don't need like uh, where is the cucumber or do you have any ginger you already know those so what we're going to talk about is some more advanced things like if you need to return something uh, there are some specific words you may need to know so for instance receipt receipt that's the piece of paper you get that shows what you bought and uh, you might say you know, I need to return this here's my receipt alright so I need to return this show them this that you're returning and then here's my receipt they will want your receipt to make sure that you bought it All right. the next thing we'll talk about is talking about produce uh, so we have fresh produce we have rotten produce and then we have the produce in the middle so rotten produce you know it it looks like white or it stinks smells bad it's gone totally bad you wouldn't eat it ever fresh produce you know what it looks like it looks just like it should All right but in the middle there are some things that you might think oh what is that how do I describe that so a few things that we might say uh, on the range of fresh to rotten would be something like mold m-o-l-d sometimes bread gets moldy or some fruit gets moldy you can sometimes cut it off and still eat the fruit sometimes you can't but that's one thing mold now another thing that you might think of whenever you're looking at fruit is it might look withered so especially if you have um, well mostly vegetables uh, they might look withered and that means instead of looking nice and sharp like this it's kind of withered up like this and you know it's not quite rotten maybe or maybe it is but it could be anywhere on that scale w-i-t-h-e-r-e-d withered alright some other things you might want to talk about would be the expiration date or the sell by date that's the date on a lot of things that you want to make sure you buy it by uh, you can also sometimes smell it and it smells a little funky is what many people will say that's kind of a uh, not exactly in the dictionary but we often use funky to say well, it doesn't smell right uh, we could also say that something smells rank so funky f-u-n-k-y it's a little bit strange rank r-a-n-k it smells really bad now on the other end of things on the very fresh side or maybe the not ripe yet so a fruit goes from unripe to ripe and usually you eat it when it's ripe to rotten you don't want to eat it so sometimes in this area between unripe and ripe we might use words like firm so this means it's very hard maybe it's a little too hard or depending on the food it might be good that it's firm f-i-r-m uh, we also use words like crisp so some vegetables you want them to be crisp so when you break it it goes psh, crisp right you wouldn't want it to be kind of floppy some vegetables you want floppy other vegetables you don't floppy like that so crisp c-r-i-s-p floppy f-l-o-p-p-y so these are just a few words that you might use when you're at the supermarket that you may not know how to say yet so what I'd like you to do is to think about some things that you would like to know how to say better at the supermarket or when you're out getting groceries anything like that and uh, you can do is bring those into class on Saturday and we'll look at them together and talk about them together